Oh, what's up, YouTube? So here we are in Bu Buford Springs here in Central Florida. So we're going to be some awesome diving. Get ready. Kevin, you, you excited? Yeah, I'm ready to go. All right, let's do it, baby. Well, you'll see something amazing. Okay, so here, here it is. And basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going down here and going inside the cave. And this is, this is why I travel, to see these beautiful things with friends. So it's fantastic. So it's very, very desolate. Buford Springs, ladies and gentlemen. Buford Springs. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm wearing that thick wetsuit because that water is cold. You're in there, it's deep. You, you know, I used to think not to wear a wetsuit, it was a sign of weakness. Boy, did not did my opinion change. 71 degrees, 71. Okay, so as we begin our descent, I'm used to diving with my doubles, so I was using my single tank. And I had some trouble actually getting myself to sink. Because when you're wearing a wetsuit, you're a lot positive and more buoyant, so you're going to float to the top. So it took me a little bit while to get down and also to equalize. Remember, I'm wearing a full face mask, so I had to equalize properly with that. It's not always the easiest thing with a full face mask. As we carefully descend into the unknown, I love how the rays from the sun go ahead and just light up the, ca the cavern. And that only comes when around 12 o'clock. You've got to come there around 12 o'clock because after 4 o'clock, the sun sets and it's a different location. And my dive buddy, he's pointing at his ear, and you can see that there's, a, there's some issue there with his ears. So we had to go ahead in the dive and had to come back up. But that's okay. At any point, any dive buddy can end the dive because the number one thing you want to have on a dive is your safety. The number one rule on any dive is to get back to the surface safe. I will say I was tempted to actually go in a little bit further and do exploring and then come back for my buddy, but uh, I'm not going to be selfish and do that. And that's this dangerous thing about cave diving. They're so serene, they're so peaceful, and they're the silent killer. Because you go in there and you just get lost and you get disoriented and you run out of air. And you don't realize it because it's so peaceful. The water's crystal clear. It's, it's serene in there. What that was, that beeping, is my dive computer telling me i got to go back down to do my safety stop. Um, it's a little bit overly cautious, but that's what that beeping is. I love, I love fighting on this. I'm trying to get a nice... Um, slow descent as I go back down and it's the initial that initial uh, base right there is about 80 feet
and again, we're not going into deep into the cavern uh, because it's just too dangerous. But it's very inviting. Very inviting. Now what I'm doing by shaking my light like that is to just to get my buddy's attention. That's all it is. And making sure that he's okay before we start going and doing our, our descent as we go deeper into it. We're going to touch about 125 feet. So when you're trying to maintain communication, have a flashlight, be aware of your air, know where you're at at all times. It's easy not to pay attention to the camera because safety comes first. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just making sure, you know, we can communicate and we're, I'm letting him know that I'm going to go ahead and go in and he's going to go ahead and stay back. I thought we were going to go together, but there was a miscommunication there and that's okay. Now he's holding the camera for me, doing a great job and I'm going in. You don't want to go too far. Want to stay, you know, in visual sight of my buddy, and I was just going to do a little bit of exploring. Now I had my light, I had all my safety equipment, I knew I was 100% safe, but damn, it's scary in there, it's surreal, I mean it's just, it's just awesome, it's just so silent, it's dark, you know, you think something's going to come out and grab you, it's your mind's playing tricks on you, there's really nothing to fear, nothing to fear at all. I don't know why, but for some reason, I went deep in there, and he didn't have to travel as far, yet he went deeper than me by one foot, so that was just weird, anyway, but yeah, I'm coming back now at this point. This part is relevant because this is literally where I lost my GoPro camera. Literally, right now. That's where I had lost it. Because what happened was, he's telling me that he's going to go in, and I didn't know how far he's, he's going to go in. I had experienced some nit nitrogen narcosis, which means when you start going deep down to a certain level, you start getting dizzy. And I didn't know if he would recognize those effects. And I didn't have enough air to go in there and save him. I didn't know if he was that experienced enough to recognize those symptoms of nitrogen narcosis because you start going really deep and you get screwed up and you end up, you know, you, you don't have enough air to get back. So I was concerned about his safety. So I, I'm shaking my finger 
no, don't go in there. Don't don't go in there because you're going to start feeling nitrogen narcosis. But um, he wanted to go a little bit, so I let him go a little bit away. See, he just goes and pinches his finger and said a little bit. I said, okay, go ahead. So that's what happened. And then, you know, uh, I actually came the next day <laughs> and uh, got my GoPro. It's funny here because here we are looking to find the GoPro and we're literally right in front of it. So it was just, we spent a lot of air uh, looking for that. Needless, needless. But it's okay, it's a lesson learned, you know. I'd rather get back safe than to risk doing something. So it's fine. I finally made it. <laughs> I found the GoPro. All right, hallelujah. Thanks, praise be to God. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dive. It took me a day, but I got my